guys, it's Lindsay from Trade Chic in Redmond, Washington. I am bringing you an outfit of the day today that is St. Patrick's Day themed. St. Patrick's Day is in two days, but I thought I would wear the outfit two days early so that you guys could have inspiration when you're getting dressed on Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the outfit is very green, it's very spring slash summer, and it is gray outside. So, like I always tell you, I like to dress a little colorful so that the season comes, the sun comes out when it, when it sees me in bright colors. Obviously that's not working for me very well, but I'm just going to keep doing it because it makes me feel a little brighter. So the outfit I got, um, the dress at JCPenney, the necklace at Target, and the bracelet at Trade Chic, and then my shoes I got for $9 at DSW yesterday. So let me get to it. I'm going to stand up and back up so you can see the whole look first, and then I'll go through each piece. So the dress is this wonderful Kelly green color and it has gold details on the button, very shiny, with the little pleats, which is really nice. And then um, it has this drawstring at the waist, which cinches it in a whole lot. If I have it open completely, that's what it looks like. So it's if you have a um, different body shape than me, you could potentially wear this a little looser in the waist. Uh, and also if you are maybe like a little more narrow in the shoulder and a little bigger in the waist, you could get a smaller size and then open it up in the waist so that the rest of it fits you better. This size is a 14W and it's um, the brand is just a symbol so I'm not really sure what the brand name is but I did get it for $40 at JCPenney and I got it about a week ago so they still have it I think it's brand new for spring in their plus size department. Uh, so we have the drawstring and then it hits right above my knee. very very soft and flowy the fabric is not lined so it can be a little bit clingy well, not clingy but you can see through it a little bit so I put a pair of Spanx underneath it which I wear Spanx every day anyway so it wasn't a big deal but it definitely smoothed it out like a slip would uh, because it is spring it's not really lined very well and also JCPenney makes things on the cheaper end so they can sell them cheaper so um, I would have loved for this dress to be lined, but it's okay because I have Spanx. Definitely wear something underneath this dress. Uh, let's see what else. It has the it has a long sleeve, but I, I I cuffed it because, as you can see, it's a really awkward length, and I don't really like the shape of that. It's kind of a bell shape, so I cuffed it up, which is fine. It keeps my arms or it keeps the sleeve out of my way when I'm typing and working and all that. I paired it with this white necklace. It's white little plastic beads, gems. I got this at Target, it was I believe $16.99 and I'd actually looked at it several times but I, um, I never bought it because it seemed a little like, steep in price for what it is, it's just plastic. And finally, I needed a white necklace so bad that I went back and got it. And I'm loving it. I love the color gold of the, um, the chain. So I have it now. $17 is not that much, but I feel like for the quality, $17 is a little high. Uh, I paired it with this bangle. I got it here at Trade Chic. It's a leaf with four freshwater pearls. And it runs a little big. The um, geranium brand, which this is, they make two different sizes. So if you have a bit larger of a hand, it fits right on you. Uh, and if you have a smaller hand, then you can get the smaller size. I think it's in a couple centimeters um, less in diameter. So yeah, that's my bangle. And then I'm taking my shoes off so I can show you. I got a killer deal on these. I went to DSW because I had a $20 off coupon, but you have to spend $49 to use it. And of course, I never find shoes for that price. But these shoes, they were marked 80% off the sale price, which was $49. So I ended up paying $9.99 for these. And I think they're cute. They're a little tall. 
but they're, since they're a wedge, they're really comfortable. They're by Guess. And these are a size 10, and I normally wear a 9 or 9.5, so I think they did run a little bit small. They're just a nude wedge. I liked the detail here. Kind of just makes them look a little more finished, a little more fashionable. And I'm 5'10". These shoes make me about, I want to say 6'3". But luckily all my friends and my mom, everyone I'm around during the day is usually around the same height or wearing heels also. So I don't feel like a major giant. I will probably change these shoes tonight when I go out to a birthday party with my fiance. I don't like being this giant tall person when I'm around people I'm not familiar with or that haven't met me before. Uh, because I, it kind of makes me a little self-conscious. But when I'm at work and I'm in a fashion setting or at a meeting for a fashion-related project, I do wear heels because everyone else is wearing them. Anyway, my nails are poppy red, one of my favorite colors, kind of an orangey red. They need to be painted again, but um, I bought the Essie color the other day at Target when I got this necklace. So loving it, loving it with the green. The contrast is fant fantastic. Anyway, don't look at my hair or makeup today because I was in such a hurry. I left for work with wet hair, which is probably some sort of fashion sin, but you know, whatever. And my makeup's all over the place. So anyway, I'm going to do another video tonight when I get dressed for the birthday party and I'll be wearing the Kiana poppy pencil skirt. So those of you that know it, get excited because it's a crazy print and I am going to wear it for the first time. So I will see you guys all tonight when I make that video and have a great, fantastic day fantastic St. Patrick's Day. Do not get pinched and remember to wear green. Bye.